What is up, YouTube? It's Dynamic Fishing TV back here today. I'm with my girlfriend. I'm gonna put on screen the fish that I caught here in the previous video, but we're gonna make this catch and cook a separate video. Oh, uh, damn, best bite. Get me a. He's fighting a little bit better, but he ain't much bigger, I don't think. He's been in the rod more, but he still ain't much bigger. And I don't care who you are hitting my phone up. I'm not. Yeah, he's leaving. Yeah, that's a better bag. He's leaving. And today, I got one 15 inch speckled trout cleaned. That's two fillets cut in half. I got my fryer over here, used grease. That's why it looks that way. 350 degrees. Got it heating up. I got one egg. I'm gonna put some flour in this bowl. We'll keep it simple today. Using Louisiana Cajun seasoning, salt, pepper. We're gonna make some fried speckled trout. Let's see how good this fish turns out today. We're gonna eat it on camera and let you know. Fresh fish was caught um, over there in Heron Bay. Uh, Mississippi we were over in Redfish Canal me and my father and we were just pulling a speckled trout left and right but the speckled trout keep limits different from Louisiana to Mississippi Louisiana is uh, 12 inches so we'd have got to keep almost every one of the speckled trout and then Mississippi on the other hand is 15 inches so we only had one keeper today uh, hooked up to a redfish um, caught a cockahoe minnow, just a bunch of different things. Had a good day, definitely successful. Now we got some food to put on. Pretty long day fishing on the water, so both of my GoPro batteries are dead at the moment. I'm recording from the battery that's inside of it while the GoPro is charging. I tried to charge the GoPro from a portable charger to have an extension, to have a different angle. None of that worked. It's so hard to keep GoPro batteries charged. And another thing is I think my GoPro footage was, all of it was in slow motion. So that's maybe why the batteries died a little bit faster today than anticipated. But I got plenty of footage, plenty of fish, hooked up to plenty, all on camera. So I'm gonna try to make this flower. The way I do it on camera is gonna be kind of hard from the angle. But I just use some gold metal all-purpose flour I don't need much that's probably too much and these bags make a huge mess everywhere this whole table is covered in white powder I like to use pink Himalayan salt it's classified a little bit healthier but we're just gonna grind some of that stuff in here I'll be pulling. Pepper. I'm just put a few taps. Not gonna get too I'm not gonna get too complicated with today's mixture. I'm just gonna make it nice, simple, really tasty. So just put some of this Louisiana seasoning in there. And it sounds like the fryer's up to temperature. We're gonna go ahead and mix up this flour and seasoning before I batter the egg. So that the fork I mix it up with doesn't stick to everything I mix with. Scramble this egg really quick. I'm gonna ask my girlfriend politely if she could get me a plate with two napkins on top of it, or one even, because this is only one fish, so I can put the 
finished product on it. Usually we catch more keepers or we just keep a lot of the fish we catch. You know, if we would have been literally about a two minute boat ride in the opposite direction, we could have kept another 15, 16 or so speckled trout. And it's sad that a lot of them were right at the baby keeper catch limit, but we had a lot of fun catching them. That's all that matters. So we got us one little one, catch and cook, a little snack, and an awesome video for you guys at home that aren't sure how to cook, or even just looking at different ways to cook speckled trout. I think that fryer is getting done. I'm gonna go ahead and dip one piece of each filet, one by one. I'm gonna go egg, flour. I like to double flour mine. So after I go back in the flour, I'm gonna go back in the eggs. That's usually why my fryer is so dirty. I like to double thicken the batter. And it's like it's ready to fry right now. So I'm gonna fry those just for a short period of time until they float to the surface of the oil and they're crispy golden. I haven't been fishing with my dad in a long time, so today was a pretty cool experience to get out there and get to fish with him. I'd say we landed about the same amount of fish. Just the 15 inch that happened to be a keeper was one of the ones that I landed. It's like this egg wash is gonna run out just in time for me to get my last one. Oh, that sucks. There's one piece that doesn't have the moisture. I would have got another egg, but it ain't even worth this little piece. If we whip this one. One flay is going to be a little bit different than the others. That's going to be okay. Might as well deep fry my fingers. I got so much breading on. And I'm going to go fix this clean this right quick while this fish cooks. I'll be right back eating some delicious mouth-watering fish. Ooh, this fish is looking amazing. Super thickly breaded like I like. And it's coming to a nice crisp as we sit here and wait.
speckled trout goes in. With all the white powder on the table. Gotta use the OG ketchup, Heinz. No sponsorship, but I'm open. I'm open for sponsorships, even from ketchup. You already know how I'm rocking. <laughs> oh, smoky, beautiful fish. Come in this frame and come chow down on a piece of me. Cheers, man. Come on, I gotta get multiple opinions on this fish here. Fresh as you can get it. Caught maybe two hours ago. Fresh as you can get it. Dip it in the ketchup. Dang, she ain't even cheers with me. Dang. And there's a softness in my eyes. Mm. Good. It's really good. I caught a little blue catfish today. I got a picture of it. It was really small, so I didn't want to get the catfish skinners out. Just give me no fat catfish, but this is just as good or even better. Mm. Even without the ketchup, it's good. It doesn't have a real fishy taste. Perfect. Taste the breading. Taste the salt. You can taste the fish. Amazing. Fresh. I said it once, and I'm going to say it again. This fish here in front of us doesn't get better than this or fresher than this. You might as well let them know. It doesn't. Must well let them know. And this is some of the freshest fish you can get. And it is amazing. Make your mouth water. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash that like button. If you're new, hit that subscribe. Turn on your post notifications for more daily outdoor content. I'm Dynamic Fishing TV. Y'all have an amazing day. Fish on.